All right. You join us from Box Hill, Surrey, an area of outstanding natural beauty. The only reason I'm here though is wine and cycling. There's a mega vineyard down there, biggest in the UK, called Denby's, and uh, there's also a mega hill where they did the Olympic road race. Uh, it's a pretty good day out for someone like me who loves going down the hills and drinking wine and that. I'm gonna head down the hill now and get a glass of wine. I think I deserve one after all the cycling I've done. I arrived at Denby's and as you can see, it's pissing it down. I could be anywhere really. I could be in the south of France, I could be in Burgundy. This landscape's pretty dramatic, loads of vines and that. So the south of England's class for growing vines. That's where a lot of great English sparkling wines grow. In. A lot of other wines, but in particular, the sparkling wines are what I've come for today. Because I'm always in search of a bargain. They're very reasonably priced for what you get. We're gonna go and have a look at some vines and see what the crack is. English wines are on the up. There's a lot of sparkling wines that are rivaling loads of different champagnes. What's really good about English vineyards is you don't have to uh, spend a lot of money and they use the champenoise method. There's something particular about this site that makes it great for growing wine. You know, if the bottle just grew itself and you can just pull it out of the ground like a carrot or something, <laughs> that would make everyone's life easier. So there's a lot of work involved. So I'm going to talk to the guys over there in the winery. I'm going to tell you all about the effort that's needed to produce quality wine. I'm in the vineyard, get my hands dirty. I've just done a bit of shoveling and uh, a bit of pruning, and now I'm gonna gang up my wheelbarrow, take the harvest back to be pressed. Nah, there's knee grapes on this vine, look. Towards the end of the year, all of this will be lush, because you can use the word lush when you're talking about greenery, can't you? It won't be quite as bare as it is now. It's still pretty dramatic landscape. Looks a bit like a grand chateau. So I could be, uh, Forgetting what I'm going to say. Hi. <laughs> eh? Next time on the Geordie Wine Guide, Sean realises he knows now about wine, and the general manager of Denby's puts him to shame. Can Sean go a single episode without spilling wine all over his shirt? If you didn't subscribe, you'll never know.